the constitution of india preamble we the people of india having solemnly resolved to constitute india into a sovereign socialist secular democratic republic and to secure to all its citizens justice social economic and political liberty of thought expression belief faith and worship equality of status and of opportunity and to promote among them all fraternity assuring the dignity of the individual and the unity and integrity of the nation in our constituent assembly this 26th day of november 1949 do hereby adopt enact and give to ourselves this constitution hello my dear children hope you all are fine so in the last class sri devi teacher discussed the fundamental problems faced by an economy today we are going to discuss about the famous economic thinkers and their ideas okay so the contributions of economic thinkers belonging to different periods have benefited the growth of economics let's see the ideas of a few okay so in that the first one the first economic thinker adam smith adam smith was a scottish economist he is known as the father of economics his famous book is an enquiry into the nature and causes of the wealth of nations he described economics as the study of wealth he wanted limited government intervention in the economic activities and argued for more freedom to individuals this is known as the theory of laissez faire clear adayad adam smith adhyayathinte laissez faire theory il parayunnathu government vyaktigalde sambathika karyangalil idapadan paadilla allengil limited aayi maatrame idapadan paadullu this is laissez faire theory okay the next economic thinker the famous economic thinker karl marx karl marx was a german economist his famous book is the capital marx gave importance to the role of laborers in the production process he maintained that the basis of production is the manpower of laborers and the price of the product is the reward for it clear adayad adheham parayunnathu tholilaligalde adhwanathinte prathifalamana ulpannathinte vila ennu parayunnathu however the laborers get only a portion and the major profit the major portion of the profit goes to the capitalist adayad labathinte കൂടുതലും മുതലാളിമാർക്കാണ് ലഭിക്കുന്നത് വളരെ തുച്ഛമായ വിഹിതം മാത്രമേ തൊഴിലാളികൾക്ക് ലഭിക്കുന്നുള്ളൂ എന്നാണ് അദ്ദേഹം അഭിപ്രായപ്പെട്ടത് ക്ലിയർ ലെറ്റ് മീ റിപ്പീറ്റ് ദ ലേബറേഴ്സ് ഗെറ്റ് ഓൺലി എ പോർഷൻ വൈ ദ മേജർ പ്രോഫിറ്റ് ദ മേജർ പോർഷൻ ഓഫ് ദ പ്രോഫിറ്റ് ഗോസ് ടു ദ ക്യാപിറ്റലിസ്റ്റ് മാർക്സ് കോൾ ദീസ് സർപ്ലസ് വാല്യൂ ഈ ഒരു പ്രോസസ്സ് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഈ ഒരു സിസ്റ്റം അദ്ദേഹം വിശേഷിപ്പിച്ചത് സർപ്ലസ് വാല്യൂ എന്ന പേരിലാണ് ഓക്കെ ചിൽഡ്രൻ സോ ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് എക്കണോമിക് തിങ്ക് ആൽഫ്രഡ് മാർഷൽ ഹി വാസ് ആൻ ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് ഇക്കണോമിസ്റ്റ് ഹു വാസ് വൺ ഓഫ് ദ മോസ്റ്റ് ഇൻഫ്ലുവൻഷ്യൽ ഇക്കണോമിസ്റ്റ്സ് ഓഫ് ഹിസ് ടൈം ഹിസ് ബുക്ക് പ്രിൻസിപ്പിൾസ് ഓഫ് ഇക്കണോമിക്സ് വാസ് ദ ഡോമിനൻറ്റ് ഇക്കണോമിക്സ് ടെക്സ്റ്റ് ബുക്ക് ഇൻ ഇംഗ്ലണ്ട് ഫോർ മെനി ഇയേഴ്സ് Alfred Marshall presented several new principles in the field of economics. He believed that wealth should ultimately result in the welfare of the society and economic activities must be welfare oriented. Adayad adhehathinte abhiprayathile sambatha aadhyantikamayi manushyante kshemathinu vendi aayirikkanam. Adu pole thanne സാമ്പത്തിക പ്രവർത്തനങ്ങളെല്ലാം മനുഷ്യക്ഷേമത്തിന് പ്രാധാന്യം നൽകുന്നതായിരിക്കണം ഇതായിരുന്നു ആൽഫ്രഡ് മാർഷൽ അഭിപ്രായപ്പെട്ടത് ക്ലിയർ നെക്സ്റ്റ് എക്കണോമിക് തിങ്ക് ലയണൽ റോബിൻസ് 
Lionel Robbins was a British economist. He is famous for the quote, Human want what they can't have. His famous book is A History of Economic Thought. He suggested that we should prioritize our wants for the judicious utilization of resources. We have resources limited. We have limited so, Parimida Maya Vipangale, Engen a Falapra the Maya to Bio Ikan Patum, Engen Arikim. Yes, Namaladana, Namade, Avishingalka, Munganana, Nalgana. We should prioritize our wants. Namada Avishingalka, Munganana, Nalganda, Nalana, Diaham, Abhi Priapet. Anganisi Yanangil, Namaka Namada, limited resources in a Falapra the Maya to Bio Ikan Patum. Okay, so the next. Famous economic thinker Paul A. Samuelson. Paul A. Samuelson was an American economist, presented his ideas in the beginning of the 20th century. His famous book is Foundation of Economic Analysis. He maintained that a nation's financial stability depends on efficient economic planning and proper utilization of resources. That is why we have to say that financial stability is not going to be able to do efficient economic planning and proper utilization of resources. We have to say that efficient economic resources are not going to be able to utilize Okay. So children, we have learned the prominent Western thinkers and their ideas, isn't it? So here is an activity for you. Try to complete the table showing the prominent thinkers and their ideas. Now we are going to study about the Indian thinkers, Indian economic thinkers. Indian thinkers have also contributed much to economics. Okay, children. So the Indian thinker, first one, Chanakya, Chanakya or Kautilya. He was a great Indian thinker and the chief advisor of Chandragupta Maurya of Maurya dynasty. Let's see the economic thoughts of Chanakya. Chanakya was the chief advisor of Chandragupta Maurya. His famous book is Arthashastra. It is a major work of the Indian economic thoughts. He opined that lack of effective economic activities can bring a nation to ruin. Neither Rajatin de Sambatika Pravatanangal, effective Alangil, Karikshama Malangil, Rajam, Nashikanala Sada the Indana Diaham, Abhi Prayapatu. He emphasized the importance of following the right policies for a nation's progress. So, the next Indian thinker was Dadabai Navroji, who introduced drain theory. That is, the draining of Indian resources by the Britishers. The main reasons for the drain of resources were the following. The British officers in India were paid high salaries. Goods made from Indian raw materials were sold at a high price in the Indian market. Indian wealth was robbed for expanding the British Empire. Indian laborers were treated as slaves. Next Indian economic thinker is Mahatma Gandhi, the father of our nation, who contributed original ideas in economics. Gandhiji contributed original ideas in economics in his first book, Hind Swaraj, published in 1909. Gandhiji gave importance to moral values, rural economy and trusteeship through which he aimed at an economy which is founded on truth and non-violence. Clear? In his economic thought, Gandhiji gave priority to rural agricultural system emphasis on small and cottage industries, an economy built on equality, 
and self sufficient and self reliant local economy so children next and the last indian economist is amartya sen who received nobel prize for economics in 1998 amartya sen concentrated on welfare economics economic inequality and development he concentrated his studies on poverty inequality and famine so children till now we have discussed the contributions of some leading economic thinkers western thinkers as well as indian economic thinkers so children this is for today's class hope you all have understood the topic well i will meet you soon with a new topic bye